What is up my crazy subscriber, this is Joking John 64 here to bring us more Planet Side 2 gameplay. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying the gameplays lately because that's what I've been posting, you know, I haven't been posting Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, I know that, but I'll probably work with it, uh, with that game, like, later on during the week. So, Planet Side 2, if you guys enjoy it, make sure you leave a like in the video. So our main topic has to be about the problems that I see with Planet Side 2, and one of the main problems that I see with this game has to be the freaking grind. It takes forever to unlock a weapon it took me like around four or five hours to actually unlock the weapon that I'm currently holding oh never mind that's actually the first weapon to unlock I actually bought an SMG it cost me like around a thousand in-game currency and it, that, to get a thousand in-game currency it takes like around four to five hours that's how long it freaking takes and every single gun costs the same a thousand to a thousand two hundred yeah so if you want to unlock weapons, you're going to have to do the grind, man. You're going to have to get a shitload of kills in order for you to unlock weapons. And also customization options because not only do you have to unlock weapons with that in-game currency, you also have to use in-game currency to unlock equipment, special masks, um, customizable parts for your vehicles. You know, it's a lot of freaking grind. A lot. It's not as easy. I've been, I've been playing with my first freaking weapons like for the past week and a half and haven't locked Bar I have unlocked barely anything. So I do have a problem with the ground. It takes forever. They really need to tone that shit down. Um, another thing that I see with Planet Side 2 that has a problem, it has to be also the real money you have to use. Now, most of you guys think like, oh, what if I use 20 bucks to 50 bucks? Because you, you can use this, uh, real money in this game. You can use it. And it will give you like a, a side credit besides your in-game currency. And um, for 20 or 50 bucks, I believe, it only gives you like around 1,200 credits. And each weapon, with real money, it actually costs 600. So, you're actually going to waste 20 to 50 bucks to only get 1,200 points. And then waste half of it on a single gun. And you're probably not, not even going to have a chance to buy another gun because it won't reach you. So, it is really expensive. And with 20 to 50 bucks just to buy one weapon? God damn. What the fuck? Like, you can't even use real money. It's not forcing you to re use real money, but if you try to use real money, it's going to cost you a fucking tons of money. So, yeah, the currency is kind of fucked up in this game. They got to tone it down at some point, but I see the why they're doing this because, you know, the servers are pretty much packed. A lot of people are playing the servers. You know, they got to keep... They got to do something to help keep that freaking server, so... I understand why they cost so much to actually use you know, real money to unlock weapons and stuff. So, yeah, free to play games are sometimes pain in the ass. But I guess so. But I'm, so far, you know, I've been having fun with the game. You know, that's the only problem I see. It's just a grind. I haven't played any free to play games before. And this is my first one. And, you know, I know what I had to experience. Freaking currency is a pain in the ass. So, uh, yeah, vehicles and anything else, I really don't have a problem. My teammates are sometimes dumb, but not as dumb as Call of Duty. Call of Duty teammates are super dumb. It feels like I'm playing with AIs. But when I'm playing Planet Side 2, I was like, God damn, you know, these guys are actually responding. That's good. That's fucking good. Freaking, these players are better than Call of Duty. So that is it, guys. Subscribe for more. If you guys want to see more Planet Side 2.